Hello students, myself I am K. Vasant Kumar, working as faculty in the Department of Computer Science in Dr. Lankapalli Balai College, Vishakhapatnam. Today I am going to discuss about the topic Human-Computer Interaction in Software Engineering. It is fourth unit in Software Engineering. In the last classes, in fourth unit we have discussed about User Interface Design, User Interface Golden Rules and Human Factors. Now today I am going to discuss about Human-Computer Interaction. And first of all, today what is HCI and human computer interaction design and also interface standards. First of all, we will see what is HCI. HCI stands for human computer interaction. The name itself says how humans are going to interact with the computer. Okay, the main concept of HCI is how human is going to interact with the computer. It is nothing but it is a study of interaction between humans. Humans are also, uh, we can call them as users and computers. And uh, the interaction between humans and computers can be achieved by an interface, which we can call it as user interface. Here, HCI consists of three parts, like H stands for humans, or we can call them as users, and C stands for computer, and I stands for interaction. Now we will see one by one what is human and what is uh, interaction and what is computer. First of all, what is humans or users? Users can be an individual user or group of users who are working together and uh, interacting with the technology is cognitive. As we have discussed this topic earlier, like some human factors are like vision, hearing, touch and movement. These are the four human factors already we have seen in the previous class like uh, it is cognitive and next one is what is computer as we all know that computer is nothing but it is an electronic device which takes input process it and gives output in a predefined manner it is made up of various elements computer system is made up of very various elements each of these elements affects the interaction okay like uh, we have input devices we have output devices we have virtual reality and physical interaction through sound these can be different elements and next one is interaction the, there are different types of interfaces uh, human can interact by using the interface to system uh, suppose if human want to interact with the system, we are having different types of interfaces like uh, we have command line interface, we have GUI uh, which is called as graphical user interface and also form fields and uh, spreadsheets etc. And first of all we will see what is command line interface. Here the way of expressing instructions to computer directly by using some function keys single characters, short abbreviations, etc. Suppose if you want to interact by using command line interface, one should have some knowledge of using computers and some languages or commands to interact with computer. So here uh, it can be suitable. It can be suitable only for repetitive tasks and also it is better for expert users than novice users. Here expert users means the persons who is having some knowledge like how to use computer and novices who, don't know, who doesn't have that much of knowledge of using computers. And for example for command line uh, interface is Unix system. And next one uh, GUI as I said earlier it is nothing but a graphical user interface. Uh, here uh, it is it can also be called as WYSI WYG that means what you see is what you get and by using this operating system any person with have who is having minimum knowledge they can access the interface that is example Windows Windows operating system it is much easier for any person who is having minimum knowledge like uh, by what they see on the system by clicking on that they can get the information but whereas coming to command line interface, it is somewhat difficult to ha handle the command line interface as you should know some commands to handle the interface. And uh, form fills. Third one is form fills. 
it is primarily used for data entry or data retrieval like uh, screens can look like paper okay it requires a good design like uh, for form fills and next one is spreadsheet it is most commonly used sheets today like for preparation of uh, timetables and colleges and for calculations purpose they regularly use like ms excel okay and next one is human computer interaction design like humans interact with computers through user interface uh, any human who is who wanted to interact with computer they have to interact with user interface and it includes software which is displayed on computer monitor and hardware such as mouse keyboard and other peripheral devices okay and next one as a result the study of hci focuses on user satisfaction like how effectively a user can interact through, uh, interact with the computer by using user interface suppose uh, if the, they design a poor interface it will be hard for users to benefit from even the simplest systems okay uh, to handle uh, the user interface in an effective way a good interface should be there so usability and user experience goal awareness is essential to all hci design next we look at interface standards we have some standards and guidelines which are beneficial for interface designers to design a good interface like uh, using eight golden rules it is possible to differentiate between a good interface design from a bad one already in the previous class we have discussed about eight golden rules now again we are look uh, through it like what we can, what we can call it as interface standards by using these standards one can uh, differentiate a good interface design from a bad one there are the eight golden rules first one is strive for consistency this we have seen in the last class like a uh, uh, user should be well utilized all the menus icons he should be able to utilize all utilization should be very great by using menus icons colors etc and next one is enable frequent users to use shortcuts like uh, suppose if he is using frequently the system he should be able to know some shortcut key so that he can reduce the interaction like a uh, control plus c which is used for copy and control plus v which is used for paste in this way by using shortcut keys he can reduce the interaction like a uh, and next one is offer informative feedback suppose if you are sending a gmail uh, like you are sending a uh, message to some person it should uh, we should get some informative feedback that the message has been sent to the destination and next one is a design dialog to yield closure suppose if you are installing some software in your system it should display like it should uh, show the status of the software installation like uh, how much it has been installed like 30% or 70% or 100% uh, by knowing that we can know uh, in which stage the installation process is and next one is prevent errors this also we have discussed in the last class like prevent errors means suppose uh, if you are entering an user id and password and if you enter wrong user id and wrong password it should give you a message that you have entered a wrong user id and wrong password so that you can understand you have done a mistake and you should, then you can enter your correct username and correct password by so that in this way you can prevent errors and next one is permit easy reversal of actions suppose if you have done a mistake you can do undo by using control plus z okay and next one is support internal locus of control suppose if you want to close any application uh, it will ask you like are you sure suppose if you want to close uh, any file or any any application it will ask are you sure you want to exit suppose if you click on yes it will close and if you click on no again it will stay in that application by in this way it can support uh, internal locus of control and last one is reduce short term memory load because as humans cannot uh, memorize everything you can uh, remember by uh, you can know the thing uh, by looking at user interface uh, what term is it and what icon it is for so in this way 
uh, these eight golden rules plays a very important role in uh, designing a good user interface design so here we have discussed about the definition of HCA, what HCI is, uh, human-computer interaction, how human is going to interact with computer by using user interface, and the human-computer interaction design, and also interface standards, and the eight golden rules through which we can differentiate a good interface design from a bad one. Okay, thank you for watching.